The Yukon athletic director tells me after a scary situation in the stands back in October when someone needed CPR, that's when they decided their coaches should be certified. Going through that situation made me want to get all of our coaches certified. After a fan in the stands needed emergency CPR back in October, Yukon Public Schools thought changes should be made within their athletic department. One of our patrons um, had a a cardiac situation and we had some fans that responded to that situation was able to revive that uh, person. The same day, 48 of their coaches completed that CPR training. The world saw Buffalo Bills defensive back DeMar Hamlin revived on the field and carted off in an ambulance. As you see the DeMar Hamlin situation, a prime athlete, it can happen to them. So it's kind of scary, but also at the same time, it kind of relieves me that I know that most of my staff is CPR certified. According to a group called School CPR, 33 states require CPR training for coaches, but not Oklahoma. It's actually surprising that there is no requirement for coaches to have their certification um, in CPR. But UConn says their district won't wait for lawmakers. That's the goal is to get every one of our coaches uh, CPR certified. That's our number one priority is to keep our student athletes safe as well as our patients.